In this easy ed video lecture, we will learn about field effect transistors, types of FET, construction, working, and the characteristics of JFET, construction, working, and the characteristics of MOSFET, and the application of the MOSFET as a switch. Field effect transistor, abbreviated as FET, is a unipolar device, meaning that current conduction takes place only due to one type of carrier. This is the major difference between the BJT and the FET as the BJT conduction of current takes place due to the both electrons and holes. The advantages of FET and BJT are High input impedance FET is a voltage control device. It provides high degree of isolation between the input and the output, less noisy, etc. FETs are mainly of two types junction field effect transistor or JFET and metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor or MOSFET. Junction field effect transistor was first described by Shockley in 1952. JFET is a four terminal device with the terminal names as gate, drain and source. The four terminal called as the body terminal is always connected to the source. There are two types of JFETs as a N channel JFET and a P channel JFET. Thus, we represent only three terminals in the symbol of JFET. Let's start with the construction of N channel JFET. The name N channel signifies that here electrons are the majority charge carriers. To form the N channel JFET, we take N-type semiconductor as the base and dope it with a P-type semiconductor at both the ends. Both these P regions are electrically connected to each other and an ohmic contact is taken out of which is called as the gate. Two more terminals are taken out from N substrate and are called as source and the drain. Thus a JFET has three terminals source, drain and gate. Similar to BJT, JFET also has two PN junction. For constructing a P-channel JFET, we take a P-substrate and dope N-type semiconductors at the two ends to form the gate. Thus the two types of JFETs are constructed as shown. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Moving forward towards the working, let's bias the JFET with the two voltage sources. One between the gate and the source as VGS and the second between the drain and the source as VDS. The source acts as a common terminal. Initially, as no voltage is applied, the depletion region is formed across the two PN junctions. Being of N type, the drain to source channel contains electrons as majority charge carriers. Application of the small drain to source voltage makes these electrons flow from the source to the drain as the positive voltage at the drain attracts them. Thus, the drain current flows through the JFET from the drain to the source. Now, let's keep the VDS constant and apply some gate to the source voltage. P region contains holes. Applying the negative voltage to the gate makes the PN junction reverse bias. The depletion region width increases and it penetrates more deeply into the channel, decreasing the channel width and thus the drain current reduces. Now if we increase the gate voltage towards a more negative side, the depletion region goes on increasing and a point comes when the channel gets depleted completely. The value of VGS is called as the pinch off voltage or threshold voltage. At this point the current flows stop. Now let's keep the VGS voltage constant between 0 volts and the pinch off value and increase the VDS voltage. VDS is nothing but the voltage drop across the channel which increases as we move towards the drain. Also the reverse bias voltage of VGS is the highest at the drain. Thus the depletion region gets a tapered shape near the drain and channel becomes much narrower in this case. Thus ID remains constant and the characteristic graph becomes non-linear. Now studying all the cases, you may have a question that why VGS is never positive. 
gate voltage primary controls the flow of the train current. If we apply VGS positive, this will make the PN junction forward biased and the gate ceases to control the current flow. Thus, we never apply a voltage above 0 volts to the gate terminal. Thus, in the JFET, the output current ID is controlled by the input voltage VGS. Thus, FET is a voltage control device, whereas BJT is a current control device. The characteristics of JFET are as shown in the figure. The metal oxide semiconductor field effect, transistor or simply MOSFET, is the cousin of JFET, as they both exhibit the same nature of FETs. MOSFET is also divided in two types, such as enhancement and depletion type. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. MOSFET has also four terminals as gate, drain, source and body. But the body terminal is always connected to the source. So the MOSFET is considered as a three terminal device. So let's see the construction of the MOSFET now. To construct a N-channel MOSFET, P-type semiconductor structure is considered as the base or substrate. Then we dope two N-type wells to obtain the source and the drain terminals which form the required N-channel between the two. Thus we get the MOSFET structure as shown. The symbols of JFET and MOSFET are almost the same except that there is a dotted line between gate and the other two terminals in MOSFET. This is because in the MOSFET, the gate terminal is kept isolated from the drain and the source with the help of an oxide layer and the metal is used to make the contact terminal. Thus, this device is named as the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. Moving forward, let's start with the working of MOSFET. Let's consider that VGS and VDS is equal to 0 volts. The MOSFET remains stable but depletion region is formed due to PN junction as shown. Now let's apply the positive VGS as shown. As the positive voltage is applied to the gate terminal, holes near the gate are repelled towards the substrate. Hence, MOSFET operates in the cutoff mode. When we increase the gate voltage above a threshold value, all holes get depleted from the depletion region and the gate attracts all the minority charge carriers. This forms the inversion layer near the gate, which contains only electrons. This layer acts as a channel, and as it contains only electrons, it is called as the end channel. As this channel enhances due to increase in the gate voltage, this FET is called enhancement type MOSFET. Now let's apply a positive voltage to the drain, which is N type. When we apply positive potential to the drain, the depletion region near the drain widens due to reverse biased PN junction. As we increase the strain voltage above the gate voltage applied, electrons from the channel feel the strong force of attraction towards the drain and start flowing from the source to the drain through the channel. This motion generates the drain current which flows from the drain to the source. Increasing the VDS further, we reach a point where this channel width starts to decrease at the drain terminal and the channel gets tapered and is transformed into a single point. After this point, even if we increase the VDS, ID remains constant. After this point, MOSFET goes into a saturation mode. Thus, we can summarize the working of the MOSFET in the following table. When it is in the cutoff mode or saturation mode, it acts as a switch and when it is in the active region, it acts as an amplifier. Thus, we observe the following characteristics for the enhancement MOSFET. Now, let's focus on the applications of the MOSFET. Same as the BJT, MOSFET can also be used as a switch. Now, this operation of the MOSFET solely depends upon the VGS voltage, provided voltage VDS between the drain and the source is positive. 
hence MOSFET is called as voltage controlled current source. When VGS is equal to zero, no channel is formed, thus MOSFET acts as an open switch and the bulb remains off. And when VGS is increased above the threshold voltage, a channel is formed between the drain and the source and the flow of the current starts. Thus MOSFET acts as a closed switch and the bulb glows. Let us now review what we've learned in this video lecture. Field effect transistors are of two types, JFETs and MOSFETs. The JFET are further divided into N-channel JFET and P-channel JFET, whereas the MOSFETs are the enhancement type and the depletion type. For N-channel JFET, two P-regions are doped into the N-substrate as shown. The gate is taken out from the P-region and the source and the drain are taken out from the N substrate. For P-channel JFET, the base is of P-type and the N regions are doped along its two sides. The gate is taken out from N-type base and the source and the drain terminals are taken out from the P-regions. Applications of the positive VDA starts the current flow. Keeping VGS constant increase in the VDS increases the drain current ID linearly and then the current remains constant. Keeping the VDS positive and constant, application of the negative VGS reduces the channel width. The channel becomes narrow and at pinch of point the current flow stops. For constructing a N-channel MOSFET, two N wells are doped onto the P-type substrate or base. The gate terminal is taken out from P-type. The source and the drain are taken from N wells and the body terminal is connected to the source. The gate is isolated from the body by using SiO2 oxide layer. Application of the positive gate voltage VGS repels the holes from the P-type and attracts the minority electrons from the base. These electrons form a channel as shown. A VDS voltage greater than VGS voltage when applied attracts the electrons and constitutes the drain current. Further increase in the VDS leads to the pinch off point where the current ceases to flow. MOSFET is used as a switch when operated in the cutoff region. It acts as an open switch. When operated in saturation, it acts as a closed switch and in the active region it acts as an amplifier.